Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is Friday when you're seeing this. It is time for sign carvers of the day. We're trying to mix these in so we can get caught up. Today's sign carvers of the day is going June 14th through July 12th. So if you send a picture in in those uh, days, then it should be in this group. If it's not, be sure and get back to me and maybe somehow I misplaced it or whatever. But um, anyway, so super happy to uh, show you guys' work off. Let's get right into it. Here we go. So the first one we have is from Jay. He, uh, he just goes by Jay. He's kind of like Cher or Michael. He just goes by Jay. Anyway, this one is cool, and Jay does a lot of these um, these portraits, uh, and he's really good at them. He's got a great niche there. This is his uh, his nephew, um, and I think it looks terrific. Great job, great job, Jay. Keep up the great work, buddy. Next, Trent Des Desaltis. I think it's DeSaltis. I apologize, Trent. I, if I'm getting that wrong, I apologize. But this one's really cool. It's a cool piece of live cedar, live edge cedar, 10 by 24. And he used a profile bit on the script letters. And I just think it's it's awesome. I love the, the whole elephant thing. So um, that's a very popular sign. So great job, Trent. Uh, next, Michael Todd. And this is a uh, very, very popular signs, the welcome home signs, the vertical welcome signs. That's a great niche. Um, you guys should think about it. They might sell in your area. This is his very first sign, which I'm really impressed with, Michael. Great job. So Michael, Todd, um, terrific work, man. Keep it up. Next, we have Josh Robbins. Josh has been following us for a while. So he made this for his wife to display her scrapbook pages. The wood is panel board or a panel from an old dining room table stripped and sanded and the font is Forte. The finish is oil-based varathane. Uh, looks really nice, Josh. Great job. I'm sure your, your wife loves it. Next we have Fabrice Best. You guys know this guy is truly an artist. And uh, here's one that he did. It's all inset letters. I love the color combination and the a the stain is aged oak uh, on pine. That's the word, the wood that he used. <laughs> Great job, Fabrice. And here we have Wayne Whiting. We met Wayne when we were down in Tucson. He was part of our class. So the bottom sign that you see here, that little uh, cowboy tree uh, logo, is one that he did when he was at our class. That was one of the signs that we did. So um, he's doing great stuff. Great job, Wayne. I love it. I love the edge. The edge just looks really, really cool. So keep up the great work, buddy. He's just a brand new sign carver. Uh, and speaking of that, we have a brand new uh, sign carver. This is one of his first signs. Richard Hotchkiss. I think I'm selling, I'm uh, saying that right. I hope I am. <laughs> anyway, uh, great job, Richard. I love that. that. Again, that is a really neat niche. You doing those uh, deer busts like that. It's a big community out there that would buy those. So next we have Sam Gonzalez. This is 12 by 28. Uh, it looks like it's on pine. I can't tell for sure. But um, again, another one of those vertical home signs. Great job, Sam. I love it. Next, Lee Rodas. And this is uh, uh, all kinds of cool artwork. I don't know how we got the artwork on the board, but it looks like it's pine or maybe um, maybe panel board. That I'm not sure of, but uh, great job, Lee. Love it. Good work. Next, we have Dennis at Little Bear Crafts. This one, the picture definitely does not do it justice. Uh, this is another um, great idea for doing patriotic type signs and I love this one. Uh, great job, Dennis. Keep up the great work, buddy. Next up, we have Gareth Jukes. Gareth has a bunch of these portraits that he's doing. This is one of his kind of kind of his thing. So this one is obviously Freddie Mercury. 
And he has a whole bunch of these lined up. He's going to do some of Kylie Montague, Pink Floyd, and Bruce Lee. So uh, great job, Gareth. I think that uh, I think that's a, a great uh, market there. Keep it up, buddy. Next, we have Lou Proton Tennis, and this one is really cool. Um, the Office Dog. I love this. I, again, pets making signs for pets, people or for people for their pets. Uh, big niche, huge. Next, we have Gene Strickland. This is his very first sign. I got to say, Gene, for being your first sign, the material doesn't look like it was all that easy to carve, and you really held some straight lines, buddy. Use a profile bit, the SC50 and the 60 degree. So keep up the great work, Gene. Hope you're having fun, buddy. Gail Williams. This one is all painted, obviously, all inset letters, but it looks really, really cool. Um, uh, again, it looks like it might be a lake sign or at least a lake, um, a lake type sign. Big niche there. Man, there's some really good ideas here, guys. I hope you're taking some notes. Luke Gearink, uh, Iowa Hawkeyes flag. Absolutely spectacular, Luke. I love it. Keep up the great work, buddy. It, look, it looks really cool. Very cool. Love the black and the yellow. Floyd Hare. That's our buddy from down in, I think he lives in Maricopa. Floyd, great job on this, man. Your signs are just getting better and better. He used rapid resizer for the uh, transfer and uses profile bit for the, um, the carving on this. Looks really good, buddy. Keep up the great work, man. Next, we have Bob Wamesley. Walmsley. Not sure on that, Bob. I apologize. I think Bob's over in the UK. This is his first commission sign, but it looks really good. I love the finish on there. I like that font. Um, really nice work, Bob. I don't know what kind of wood that is, but it looks like a hardwood. Great job, Bob. Next, we have David Cordillo in Australia, and he did this for a donation for the Gimme Five for Kids auction. That's a children's hospital equipment, and uh, and that's what they do with the proceeds from this auction. And it stays for families, and all the money stays right there locally. So it's a great idea, great cause, and this welcome sign is go as good as any I've seen. Great job, David. Uh, absolutely love it. Beautiful work. Uh, Carrie Burns, very first sign. Good job, Kerry. Uh, you're holding a pretty good line there, and the orange and the brown go really well together on a piece of live edge. Don't know what a kind of wood that is, but it looks really cool. I love the live edge on there. Great job, Kerry. Hope you're having a good time with it. Next and last, we have Jeremy Hawthorne. This is portraits of Jeremy's family. Jeremy and Matthew at the top, and then Linda and Benjamin at the bottom. Great job, Jeremy. Again, these portraits are very, very popular, um, and they're very forgiving. Once you get them on the board, if you're anywhere close to the line, uh, it's not like it's really detailed to the point where you have to be dead on the line. Um, anyway, I think it's a great niche, a great market. Good job, Jeremy. Great job, everybody. Again, this is the group uh, June 14th through July 12th. And we will be doing, I don't know if we'll do another one next Friday, but we'll be doing these a little bit more often so we can stay caught up. But now that we've, uh, we're actually still in July when we're filming this and we're, you know, July 12th. So we're getting caught up. So keep sending those pictures, guys. Be sure, um, remember, you can only send one picture per month per person. If you don't remember that, I'll remind you when you send them. But uh, we love showing you guys' work off. You guys are doing terrific stuff. So keep them coming. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. If you need supplies, you know where we're at. Check, uh, click on the card. Go to the website. Um, we, show, we so appreciate you. Thanks for the premium members, executive members. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. We do videos four times a week. Click that little bell icon so you get notified. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.